Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this particular video of WordPress series, we will understand how you can add FAQ section on your WordPress blog post step by step without any problem. So first understand what is FAQ. So you must have seen these kind of things on multiple website. These are called frequently answered question. It means the questions which are very common and related to your business. Most of them, you know, are common to all the people or to the audience, which they usually ask, right? So if you add frequently asked question or FAQ on, a, on your WordPress blog, so there are two advantages. First from Google point of view. So if you search something on Google like this, for example, I have searched SEO. So you must have seen this section that is people also ask. So here also you see that questions. It means related to SEO, what other things that do people ask? So if you add FAQ section, then there are high chances that those FAQ question or FAQs, uh, you know, uh, some of them FAQs will may appear in the search engine, right? So that is number one. Number two from user engagement point of view. So if let's say the user is coming on your WordPress blog, for example, I have this blog, right? And this blog is, let's say it's about SEO. And if I add FAQ in the last, then user may get queries uh, resolved for most of the common question, like how SEO works, can I learn SEO, in how many days I can learn SEO, and etc. etc. FAQ is beneficial for both the purposes, Google search ranking and as well is for your customer engagement or reader engagement so it is a good practice to have faq on your wordpress blog and how to do that that is the agenda for this video so stay tuned watch the video till the end and stay and follow all the steps as it is so that you don't face any problem and if you are new on the channel then do subscribe right now so step number one to add faq is go to the wordpress <laughs> dashboard and in order to have FAQ in place, then you should at least use a WordPress FAQ plugin, which will ease out your work. So here we will be installing a plugin. So click on add new plugin and we will add a plugin, which will help us to create FAQ and insert on our WordPress blog. So here we will search for FAQ, we will simply search for FAQ. So there are plenty of plugins available for FAQs, inserting FAQs, and you can use a couple of them because they are good, they are properly updated. So here, one of the plugin is FAQ Accordion Docs, and the second plugin is this, Accordion FAQ. So both of the plugins are good, you can use any of them. I am going with the first plugin as of now. You can test both the plugins, whatever you feel like that this interface is user-friendly to me and this is easy for me, then you can go with that. So once you click on install now, the second step you need to do is activate this plugin and to configure the setting of this plugin and to add FAQs. So installation is done. Now click on activate the plugin. Once the plugin is activated, our step number one is completed. Now move on to the step number two, that is to configure the plugin and add FAQ inside the uh, plugin to insert on our WordPress blog. So this is the dashboard. Once you activated the plugin, it will show you. You can just skip that, not a problem. Once you clicked on skip, step then you will be redirected to the dashboard that is welcome to help faq different plugins will have different uh, you know interface so not a problem now you need to create faqs right from here you need to create faq so you need to click on all faq groups so here you need to click on all faq groups so you need to create groups in order to add faqs so just click on next and close so these are some tools that you may see Click on FAQ group, click on add new. So let's say I want to create multiple group of FAQs, let's say for SEO, let's say for SMM, let's say for different, different categories. So I can create uh, multiple things. So I name it like SEO FAQ, right? So I can multiple time reuse the same group on our different, different blogs. Now under this FAQ group, I need to add FAQ item. That is my frequently asked questions. So here the title means you need to provide the question. So for example, is SEO is SEO uh, needed for website ranking, right? So you need to enter your questions. And once you enter your question here, you need to enter your answer. So for example, I am just putting a random answer, random text here, right? But you need to enter your proper question and answer. So I have pasted one answer. Similar way, you can add multiple FAQs. So let's say the second FAQ is what is SEO, right? And again, I am just putting a random text as an answer, but you are not supposed to do this. You are supposed to write proper uh, question and answer, right? You can add images, you can categorize them and everything. Once you are done with it, click on save changes. Once you click on save changes, this will 
you know seo faq is now added and it will immediately give you the short code this short code can be directly inserted in any of the blog post right and to show the faq so i just click on copy short code once the short code is copied i will go to my post section and i will click on edit post for whichever post i want to add so i will let's say i want to add faq section on this particular blog i will click on edit and once i click on edit so whatever page builder you are using you can directly just paste this short code so i am using as of now a normal classic editor type of uh, page builder so let's say i want to add in the last so i will just click on add block and since i want to paste short code so i will write short code and i will just enter the short code which i have pasted once i entered the short code i will click on update and once the changes are done and the blog is updated i will come back to the blog again and refresh the blog once and now you can see there are faqs which i have added and the name of the group seo faq is added and i there is a search functionality as well you can control this functionality but you, here you can see that two faqs which i added is inserted right and since we have created a group it means you can just copy the same short code and paste on multiple blogs to have the same faq if you wanted in a particular category of blogs or otherwise you can create multiple category of uh, faqs and then you can use it accordingly if i talk about the other settings of this plugin then these are pretty amazing settings so if i go to helpy this and again if i click on settings so there will be multiple setting related to appearance related to functionalities so you can see if you want to show title you can switch it on by default it is on title is helpy faq uh, select FAQ title tag. What will be the title tag? H3, H4, H1, H5, H6. You can control because these are most important setting from SEO point of view. Again, FAQ search. Do you want to enable FAQ search? If you want to disable it, you can just switch it off. Again, WordPress search, enable content hook. These are multiple setting that you can, you know, enable or disable. And similar way, display layout. You can say simple accordion, toggle, open first FAQ by default, or maybe all FAQ should be opened up, right? So by default, you can. Uh, customize the setting based on your choice based on your uh, requirement of your audience whoever coming onto your wordpress blog to read it again single faq page faq groups pagination style in terms of style you can enable it and you can change the color you can change the font according to the your theme and your color scheme which you are following so these are pretty amazing settings and the best part is these are free of cost most of the option so your most of the task will be done using the free version of this plugin you are not supposed to necessarily go for the paid version until and unless you have a specific specific requirement so guys that's how you can add faq on your blog post without any problem step by step and guys that's it for this video i hope you like the video and if you did you know the drill you need to like this video subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update from our side whenever we upload a new video thank you so much i will catch you in the next video